Hi. Okay, how to make a material that goes from a color or a material to a gradient and fade in into a transparency. Okay, to start off we need to activate Node Wrangler. So we start out by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and search for Node Wrangler and make sure it's activated. Okay, then we select the cube, delete it, then we press Shift A, go for a UV sphere, right click, shade smooth. Okay, now we go to the shading tab, zoom in like this, press new for new material, um, and I want this to be a blue ball like that. And now we're going to start working with the um, uh, transparency fade gradient thing. So press shift A, add a color ramp, put it here. And then I uh, select this, press Ctrl T, and this is the Node Wrangler working. So I, it, I delete the image texture, and I take the mapping to the factor, and I then I take the color to the alpha, and not the alpha to the alpha, but the color to the alpha. And I also want to change um, the object to the vector. Okay, something is happening here. Uh, but it's not transparent and we so we need to go to the material properties and scroll down to the settings and change the opaque to alpha hashed and we can take the shadow mode as well to alpha hashed okay so now it's transparent but i want it go from transparent up to the color now it's uh, in a strange angle so we need to add a shift a I just press X and there we have the separate X, Y and Z, put it here in between and I want it to move in the Z axis like this. And now it's kind of done, but uh, so the way this works is that black controls how much that is shaded and the white is how much is the material. And if I want the uh, fading be a much harder edge I just make these two really close together and you have really, really sharp edge and if you want to have a gradient color first and then into transparency it's easy to fix that as well so we just take uh, this color ramp press shift D to duplicate it take the color into the base color and then I want to have more fun colors. So I want to have this um, to be a blue. And I take this black one and change this to a pink one. Okay, right now I cannot see anything of this. It's just pink everywhere. And this is because we don't have any mapping yet. So we take this Z into the factor. And now we have, it goes from blue down to the pink to transparency and uh, here you can move these colors as well how we like it and now if you want to rotate this you can just change this value and you can see it has been tilted okay so this is how it's done thanks for watching bye